welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tech Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. In this video, we're covering questions about assay design. It's a common concern for people who have done a lot of gel-based PCR over the years and designed hundreds of primer sets, but never for real-time PCR. You might be asking yourself, do I need to do anything special? Yeah, let's talk about it. First off, size does matter when it comes to amplicons in real-time PCR. Be sure not to make your products too large, as this can contribute to less than optimal PCR efficiency. Instead, design primers so that amplicons are somewhere between 50 and 150 bases long. Second, and this is critical for quantitative experiments, don't design primers or probe oligos to a mismatch or a known polymorphic site. This might cause inefficient binding during the first few PCR cycles and shift CT values to the right. Instead, always confirm that you have the correct sequence. Third, be careful about designing to sequences that aren't unique. Be especially mindful of homologs, which often differ very little from the sequence of interest and might cause erroneous signals. Try to always design at least one oligo to a region that's unique enough that your assay won't give unwanted signals. Finally, you never want to design oligos to low complexity sequences, such as repetitive regions that certainly won't be unique in your genome or transcriptome. There are lots of ways to get assays to fulfill all the criteria I mentioned. One way, of course, is to do the bioinformatics work yourself on the context sequence and use a program like Applied Biosystems Primer Express to do the assay design. You then just order individual oligos. One of the really nice things about Primer Express software is that it designs every set of oligos to work under universal cycling conditions, meaning you never have to optimize real-time PCR conditions. <laughs> That's convenient. And speaking of convenience, you should know about two other handy options for getting high quality assays. You can use Applied Biosystems custom assay design services or purchase a pre-designed Applied Biosystems TACMAN assay. In either case, you can spare yourself the trouble of doing bioinformatics. Your assays will all work under universal cycling conditions and they'll amplify with 100% efficiency all of which should make you very happy. If you want to try out a pre-designed TACMAN assay for gene expression, we have excellent coverage for an incredibly vast number of species. Yeah, even that one. We even have pre-designed TACMAN assays for other applications, including SNP genotyping, microRNA, and smaller RNAs, copy number assays, and much more. Talk about a lot of options. <laughs> Go check them out at thermofisher.com slash tacman. And don't worry, if we don't have your assay already, we can always custom design it for you. Thanks for watching. Check out more Applied Biosystems Tac Talk videos on our website at thermofisher.com slash tac talk. And be sure to comment below to chat with the TAC team.